Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Kimbo here, and it's raining cats and dogs. Um, so, you know, I was recording, actually, out there on the table, but then it started raining cats and dogs, and I'm like, you know what? I'm switching over to, uh, yeah, I'm switching over to the porch. So, yeah, man. But anyways, it is time for a really, really epic unboxing. This is a package I've honestly had for a few days, and I just haven't had time to open it. And I've been like, oh, crap. It's been making me really sad, like, you know, being so busy and not being able to open things. But, yeah, um... But we've got it. So we got this bad boy right here. You guys can probably guess what it is, obviously, by the title of this video. You'll know. But for the sake of this, uh, you know, uh, it's from Spin Master. Obviously, you see the logo up there. Um, but, yeah. So, like, Spin Master didn't send me this directly. I bought this, actually, on Amazon. So, yeah, it is available on Amazon. You know, anybody who's wondering where to get this, um, it is available there. But, yeah, I should have probably just gotten all the tape off before I did this. But, oh, well. Well, there you go. I got it now. It's all good. So, we got a box in here. It's time to see what it is, man. I can get it out. Yeah, buddy! Let's go! It is your boy, Dragonoid Maximus. So, obviously, like everybody and their mom, dad, cat, dog, pet, chinchilla. I actually have a chinchilla. Um, you know. But, yeah, I actually mentioned Hardcore Collectors video on Anime Expo. But, yeah. Um, but everybody, basically the point is, everybody's, like, reviewed this thing at this point. But, you know, I'm just glad that I managed to get my hands on this awesome thing, dude. Dragonoid Maximus. So, obviously, like, in the past generation, they had something very similar to this. Like, they had their big figures, um, you know, such as, like, well, they mainly started off with, like, Maxis Helios and Maxis Drago, you know, for New Destroya. And then the main one that people know about, uh, Dragonoid Colossus during the Daily Invaders. And also Darak Colossus. Losses, you know and then they had some after that it was mainly like mctavius uh well they had mctavius destroyer where all the mectagon you put together and then they had dragonoid destroyer which came with like aerogon and uh you know drago um but yeah like it was commandix drago or something like that but this is basically the one for this generation so uh at least for this first season you know so dragonoid maximus looking so so awesome dude look at the chest plate on it like it's like try me let's see like does it Yo, it makes noises, too, and it lights up. That's pretty sick, dude. So, yeah, you know, um, it's it's one of the points with this, you know, like I was saying, like, you know, it's another point that I talked to Illinook about was, like, some of the additive things that they had. So this is sort of an additive thing, you know. Um, you can get, a, obviously, this exclusive Drago right here, which I think that's Titan Dragonoid, um, you know, and it comes with a regular... Uh, it comes with regular fist and a... Regular shield, yeah, regular shield, well, regular fist, regular shield, jeepers, backwards, but, yeah, man, um, one of the additive things, you know, as long as it, like, closes and opens, like, I'll be so hyped about this, like, you know, I loved Dragonoid Colossus, uh, Dark Colossus, I thought was pretty decent, but, yeah, I really love Dragonoid Colossus, so, Dragonoid Maximus opens like that, where it, like, goes down to a small figure, um, you know, um, yeah, when it goes into a small form and opens up, I'll be really excited, but, yeah, I know people have been making their videos because I've been seeing the thumbnails. I haven't been, like, watching them too, too much because I'm, like, I don't want to be spoiled on everything that this thing does. So, yeah, for the sake of that, I've kind of avoided, like, watching the entire videos, but I know a lot of people have, like, reviewed it. So, yeah. Anyways, time to check out, uh, just, like, you know, check out the artwork on it. Obviously, you can see, like, the city behind it, and I just love that artwork. It looks so, so sick, dude. Dragonoid Maximus. And, yeah, it does get smaller, and then it does open. So, yeah. That's the main thing I really want to see for it, and it does that, so I am very, very excited. Look at that artwork right there, Dragonoid Maximus. Looks so cool, dude. It looks so awesome. And then, yeah, man, so it just shows how you close it and then open it and such, and it comes with a Titan Dragonoid card, so that's definitely, like, yeah, Titan Drago. Um, and that's a core, core Bakugo. That scares me a little bit because, obviously, I imagine after this, so many people are just going to be running with, like, Titan Dragonoid, Arliss Dragonoid Ultra, decks and then add whatever you want to but those are gonna be the main two things for decks and then everybody's gonna be like yo we like yeah boom really really strong like b power deck right out of the gate so that might be one deck i think spin master you might consider like just looking at you know because i mean it's, it's gonna be really strong because i mean like look at black hole is the only thing that stops arliss dragonoid ultra at the current moment and like uh having that titan drago in there too with all that power sheesh it's kind of it's kind of scary a little bit i can imagine a lot of people just running that deck and it's like ah oh, man but yeah i don't want to see like the same deck used like I, I refuse to use those two together in a deck like i i just won't ever since like i've known that this comes with like a strong drago i'm like nah there's no way i can't i can't do it but yeah actually i'll just try to peel off this tape but yeah, basically got all of my thoughts out about it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. I'm just scared about, like, that deck setup. I'm like, ah. <laughs> you know, because I don't want to see, like, that deck, that everybody using that deck, you know, because then it wouldn't be, like, that fun. But, yeah. 
as long as there's like some counters or something but yeah anyways there's the artwork for uh dragonoid maximus looking so so awesome but yeah now that i finally got it open here we go so yeah actually i got that i forgot the tape on the other side well chicken nuggets it's all good i'm just gonna retard it a little bit okay no i'm not i, I feel bad if i did <laughs> So yeah, I had to, have to do the casual Kimbo unboxing, you know, at least I was able to get all my thoughts out about it, like, right away, you know, like I said, I really, really like this, it's just like that one deck scares me a little bit, but, yeah, man, because I can imagine a lot of people using that setup, it would be smart to use that setup, honestly, you're not gonna lie, but yeah, so, first things first, dude, they, it obviously comes with, like, if there's anything ever wrong with your products, you know, that's the number that you call, um, yeah, and they should, you know, like, be able to help you out with it. But yeah, and then these are the instructions on how to close it. I'm not gonna look at them. I'm gonna try to figure it out by myself, like a big boy. I love them. But yeah, here we go. Let's see. Oh man. Eh. All right. You know what? I'll get everything out and then I'll be back. Okay. Holy moly! There are so many plastic strips in that thing. My finger hurts. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the plastic strips. You know, those things hurt. Like, eh. <laughs> but it's all good, man. Um. And then we've got the figure here, the ball figure here. So I guess first things first, we will look at the hub itself. So let's look at Dragonoid Maximus, dude. Look how cool this thing looks. Yeah, it's got its arms out right there, and it just looks so, so sick. Like, you can see the details in the legs, and then the tail, just for all the scales. Dude, it looks so crazy. And that's where you put uh, the actual Bakugan, is right there. So, yeah, man. So, there's a definite way to close this bad boy up. I should probably look at the instructions, but I'm not gonna. But, because <laughs> I don't wanna. But, yeah, anyways, we got the wings right here, so I'm pretty sure, um... Yeah, so the green is supposed to be the part that sticks out, so they should go that way. Um, so you just, you see the hole right there, you put it in there, and Kirkpatrick. Cool, got it. I just didn't want to force it in, you know, I don't want to break it, but here we go. And then, boom. And, come on, come on, oh, love me. There we go, okay. So got it there. I just put it in upside down. That's why Jeepers can't bow. All right, there we go. Is that it twisted the right way? Now it's looking great, man. So this is Dragonoid Maximus, dude. Obviously with the sound effects and such too. So, so cool. This is so awesome looking, man. So yeah, let's see if I can actually get this thing closed. So I'm guessing the legs are like a part that you close. Well, let's see. Um. Probably the tail. That yeah, that tail folds back like that, and then I gotta figure out how the actual body of Drago closes. Like yeah, man, I might have to look at the instructions. Oh no, you know what? Actually, legs twist them forward, and there's gotta be something with the arms. Okay, so do the arms go in first, or do they go in second? All right, you know what? I'll try to figure this out because I'm gonna Yolo Swagger McJagger it. All right, here we go. So, boom. Put that back. It's one of these two goes first. I know that. I know that. So, yeah. Let's see. The head. You pop in. I might have to get over my ego and just go for it. Oh, wait. What the? <laughs> the head. Just turtles. What? Okay, so that's a part of closing it. And then the arms. I'm guessing you put those in and then I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, I did have it sort of the right way. So you fold this forward, you fold these, yeah, forward first, and then you fold the arms in and they click. So that's the definite next step for it. I really just want to try and figure it out by myself. I do. <laughs> this is how I am. Just, just the pride thing a little bit. But yeah. And then the head in. And then tuck that down. And then the wings. And I think I should have put the wings down first, maybe. Okay. I, I feel like I was close. And then I screwed it up by like not putting the wings in first or something. Yeah. And then, let's see. W wings. Wings down. Or in. Or is it the tail first? Okay. Dang it. Alright, dang it. I almost got this freaking thing closed, but it just won't, like, uh. Oh! <laughs> you know what? Okay. 
dang it. Why won't you close? Yo, it's head jerked up. Well, nah. <laughs> okay. Like, I've heard there's something with the head. Like, okay. Oh, yeah, it closes more now, so maybe it'll work. I think there was, like, somebody said it was, like, one small little thing. That's what I've heard is, like, one small little thing makes it, like, completely different to close it. But, yeah. Okay, first of all, these didn't... Yeah! Really? Dude, oh my gosh. Alright, so, yeah. <laughs> the little thing is the head, so... Yeah, because immediately, like, when you push that head all the way in, these wouldn't stay in. So, yeah, it's that. It's literally the head. Um, you know, so you gotta push, like, you gotta push the neck and then make sure it's in like that. Like, hi, how's it going? You know, you can see Drago's head, but it has to be that way in order for it to even close, so. Yeah, so the rest of it should, I managed to figure out the rest of it, but yeah, that's literally why it didn't. It's like the Phaedrus effect all over again. One little thing holding it all together, but yeah, and that one little thing is the head in this case. So yeah, I'm guessing arms back. Yeah, the arms go back. And yeah, okay, it's locking in now. Cool. So that was the thing. Jeez. Like, wow. Yeah, it was just that one thing. All right. So let's see here. Um, well, that that foot doesn't want to stay closed. There we go. Well, it, uh, really? Really? Come on. I know. I know I'm close. I know I'm close. It must have been the head because it's definitely staying together more than the other times. But yeah, then the lock under there. Well, if it goes under. j -Pars. <laughs> I'm going to get it. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not gonna get mad. I don't get angry. And I know Dragonoid Maximus will test people for sure. So yeah, let's see. Um, okay, let me try it from this side. Those are in. Yeah, those are in. Okay. And then the wing. Down there. Okay, yeah, and that's that clamp for the wing. And then same thing on this side. So clamp it in. Cool. And then the tail. Ah, oh, really? I'm so close. Really? You can't you can give me that? You can give me that one? Boy. Boy. No, I'm so close. Alright. Wings again. Gotta fold them up like that. Okay. So then put it in, it locks in, but then you have to fold it back up. Cool. And then that frees the space for the tail. And that's how you freaking close it. Okay. Okay. Alright, now just gotta get this arm in. Just gotta get this arm in. Come on. Yeah, man. Come on, love me. Love me. I'm so close. I know I'm, I've almost got this thing. I've almost got it. The arm just won't stay. I got Japers. All right, come on. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, I just put the wing, like I took the wing out, and then I put it in after that, and then put the wing down. So, yeah, let's see. Okay, it stays closed. That is the way to close it, you know. So, the way you do it, you have to make sure the head's all the way in. So, make sure the head is all the way, like, tucked all the way in. Otherwise, it will not close. Literally, it's the Phaedrus effect. Yeah, it's the total Phaedrus effect with this. So, the head in, you push the body forward, and then you put the arms in, then you put the wings in, and then the tail, the last thing. So, yeah, got the hub completely closed. So, now I can move on to the next part. I know that took, like, a little bit of time. Uh, my apologies, but, yeah. And I'm going to switch to, uh, yeah, I'm going to switch to not wide angle. There we go, the regular angle. I don't know why I had a wide angle before. Uh, I thought it was going to be like a lot bigger, but it's all good. Anyways, we got the two cores here. So for the Magic Shield, it is plus 300 Bs. That's one for sure. Um, and then for the Fist, it is plus 150 Bs and plus two. Yeah, it comes with really, really good cores. So yeah, man. And then we have the figure itself. So this is, um, yeah, this is the actual... It's crazy to think. This is the actual ball figure four, and you can use this. You can use this in battle. It's really, really wild, dude. So this is Titan Dragonoid. So yeah, they actually made a figure for Titan Dragonoid, and it is um, a core, which is kind of cool, you know? So yeah, so yeah. I mean, Titan Dragonoid, you know, not Titan Dragonoid uh, Ultra. But yeah, so this is the Titan... Unless my phone stops, but Bakugan Brawl. Really? Oh, there we go. There it opened. Um, so let's see. Actually, can it... Is it... Strong enough to pick? Oh my, oh no, no! This thing has a really strong magnet too! Oh god, that's scary, that's scary, that's so scary, dude. <laughs> yeah, it can, if you're careful with it, 
You can pick up two cores with this freaking Titan Dragonoid, dude. This is crazy. But yeah, look at the ball form for this thing, man. So obviously you can see like the tail right there. You see the wings looking so, so awesome, dude. I love the detail on the wings. And then you can see Drago right there, that menacing face. And also those fists. It reminds me a lot of Blitz Dragonoid because like how has the fist uh, out like that? You know, Blitz Dragonoid was sort of like the same kind of way. But, yeah, man, that straight-out horn, like, hello. It's like, I ain't messing around here. B-Power 700, you're right, you're not messing around, dude. But, yeah, so the way to close it, it's pretty simple. Uh, tail back, head in, and then wings in, I'm pretty sure. And that's how you close it. Or maybe I should have done, like, the wings in and then the... Yeah, the wings in and then the bottom part. But it's all good. Uh, got it closed, and it looks so, so cool in this ball form, dude. The red, the orange just looks so, so great, man. Titan, Dragonoid looking so amazing. Um... Now it's time to show off the actual cards, which, boy, 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 boy. All right, I got to put them in the right order. So let's see here. I think this is because it's an international release that there are so many of these, but yeah. So let's see here. Yep. Okay, so first of all, they're all like elite hollow hexes, you know, well, com it's a CC, uh, X hex so you know obviously this is like exclusive to this pack um and look at that artwork for titan drago right there dude that's so crazy like you know i know they're talking about like the full art and such it's one of the questions i actually asked them at the event um and they're definitely doing so because they're doing more full art they're going around the borders like off the borders and such more i'm really excited to see like the upcoming uh releases for the tcg because they're definitely going to use full art style i definitely could see it coming but yeah look at that the hexes and plus just the elite feels with this titan dragonoid comes with a uh, shield and a fist b power of 700 damage level of three so not the highest damage level but that's a lot of power straight out of the gate dude and then you get some cards that have a lot of damage dude this thing's gonna be tanky right out of the gate like i said i'm not using a freaking titan dragonoid uh arless dragonoid ultra deck like nah man it's just too easy that thing's gonna be broken for sure that's a broken deck but yeah man just those two alone crazy crazy man then you add ventus with that and get the energy out quicker no no like, yeah, for real. Um, but just still looks so, so amazing, dude. I love the artwork for it. It looks amazing for sure. Um, and I'll just zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the card fully. There we go. And then uh, there's another Titan Drago. You know, obviously, these are the character cards. Like I said, you can play these. These are the character cards for this. So this can be used in the game. It's, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, those are the three. And then we have the Evo for Dragonoid maximus dude so this is the only way you can obviously get this but dragonoid maximus it is 10 energy to get this bad boy out dude but it is crazy crazy strong you know you definitely have to put this with a ventus deck for sure you have to have some ventus in there to get that energy but yeah i'm gonna definitely try to make a deck for this because you know it'll be really cool too but yeah dragonoid maximus um b power of 2500 crazy damage level of 10 like sheesh how are you gonna stop this thing if you get it out but here it is this is literally like the exodia of bakugan man like if you control dan winton and leah you have to get all three of them out you win the game the game's immediately over like if you could do that so it's literally like an exodia deck from Yu Gi Oh. you know i play a little bit of Yu Gi Oh. you know <laughs> anybody doesn't know but yeah man it's so so crazy dude like Sheesh, but you also have to run a Pyrus Ventus Chaos. Yeah, you have to run a Pyrus Ventus Chaos deck in order to get that effect. So, yeah, you're limited to that for this thing. But if you get it off, sheesh. It's just so, so crazy, dude. But, yeah, as you can see, the full art right there, like, it goes way, way off. Like, they're definitely going to be focusing on full art more. You can just tell by how the cards are, like, are starting to expand, like, how the Bakugan are starting to expand off the actual border. Just so, so awesome, man. And then it comes in uh, the different languages, because, obviously, this is an international version. So, it comes with, like, three different cards, and also it comes in various different languages, man. And, yeah, and my foot also totally totally fell asleep but yeah because i've been sitting here for a little bit but it's all good anyways we have the hub for dragonoid maximus right here gotta zoom out a bit um so you guys can see this opening action so this is the very last thing for this let's get it open dude three two one bakugan brawl boom what the <laughs> it just shut the <laughs> Oh my god, it just yeeted the Drago. That was hilarious. Okay, maybe, maybe I just put it on too quickly or something. Yeah, let's try this again. Boom. There we go, dude. 
Holy crap. <laughs> that that honestly like made me jump a little bit. That was so cool, dude. That opening action was sick. All right, I <laughs> made me laugh. I totally yeeted Titan Drago at first, but yeah, man, look at that. Just so so sick. Like this is one of the additives I really really like it. Like you know, like I said. Because it has it where the actual Bakugan makes the entire thing open like how Dragonoid Colossus did. I love this so, so much, man. Big props to Spin Master. This thing looks absolutely amazing, man. Just so, so cool. Dragonoid Maximus, absolute boss. And it's going to be crazy seeing Titan Dragonoid being used in the game. Because obviously anybody who's got this is definitely going to make a deck with it. Um, mainly probably like, you know, Chaos, Ventus, Pyrus, because that's the main way to get its effect. But yeah, even using this without that added effect and you get that off, that's crazy power, dude. Like, dang, <laughs> you're going to wreck. But hope you guys enjoyed this epic unboxing on this awesome Bakugan Battle Planet, Dragonoid Maximus. Like I said, I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but you know, it's been doing a lot, a lot of stuff. But I'm just honored to even have this thing in my collection, dude. It's so, so cool. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely yeah, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, until next time, it is your boy, Kimbo, signing off. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay awesome. And Bakugan Brawl! I'm up out of here. Dang, this thing's going to be a beast.